everything in England is the same, but it's everything is also different. For instance, they have everything that we have here. It's a culture that is as developed as ours in the United States, or I should say we're as developed as they are. Um, but everything, because it's just a different culture, a different part of the world, a different side of the pond, everything is a little different. Um, so the fact that it's more of a pedestrian and a public transportation culture versus we're used to just hopping in a car and we, we take that for granted. The fact that we use central heating and they use radiators all the time. Um, the fact that our light switches up means that it's on, down means that it's off. It's backwards there. You've got different plugs. Um, I remember I started to make a list in the back of my journal of everything that I found that was just slightly different about England and I ended up with just hundreds of things. So it was always fun. It, kept, it keeps you on your toes and it definitely makes you feel like you're in a new place. But you get to keep speaking the English language, which makes it fun. And then I guess the other fun thing about England is, is the fact that even within, among the English or the British themselves, you've got different cultures. And so you can tell where, which part of England someone is from just by their accent or the way that they say things. And this is a country that's as small as Oregon is. And so if you imagine within Oregon having such different groups that there'd be famous rivalries from one town to the other, um, you've got the Scottish and the Welsh and the Northern Irish as well as the Irish, all these different culture groups that, that made things fun.